This week I've been reading Shrines of Gaiety, the, the latest novel by one of my favourite authors, Kate Atkinson. Now, I've very much enjoyed and positively reviewed her three previous novels, Life After Life, which was a TV series earlier this year, God in Ruins, the sequel to Life After Life, and Transcription, all of which were set in and around World War II. Uh, Shrines of Gaiety, the latest, uh, is set between the wars, a rather different period, and it's vivid and an often seedy picture of, of London in that period as the, the roaring twenties start to roar, well, not for all, but at least some of the population at the top. Uh, the central character is, a, is Nellie Coker, who owns and runs a number of Soho nightclubs with a, with a very disparate family uh, and is, is a force to be reckoned with, uh, based apparently on an awful lot of research of the West End's actual Mar Bakers um, of the period. Now, Nellie is pursued by, by police, some good and some corrupt, uh, by the, the Maltese Mafia, who, who later uh, took over most of Soho, and a sort of amateur sleuth from, from the north called Gwendolyn Kelling. Now, Gwendolyn comes down from York to, to find a couple of local runaways, um, a couple of the, the many girls lured to London, hoping for West End stardom, most of whom, then as now, uh, end up on the streets or dancing in the clubs and, and in the mystery at the heart of this book, uh, finally, in the River Thames. The, the characters are, are fascinating, particularly Gwendolyn, um, who seems on the face of it an, uh, an innocent librarian, but we find she's actually had um, some pretty thorough hardening up um, through her experiences as a nurse on, on the Western Front. Uh, the period detail is also great, um, particularly the, the places and how they were at the time if you, if you know the modern West End and Covent Garden. Uh, the rough, of, rough and tumble of post-First World War life um, is also very interesting to read about as it's usually post the Second World War that we, we tend to hear about. For me, the, the book left rather too many, um, what I would call big sleep style loose ends. Um, you may remember Raymond Chandler, the, the author of The Big Sleep and other detective novels of the 30s, uh, famously admitted that he often didn't know how one or two of the characters in his books actually met their ends. Uh, I think Kate does try to sweep up some of those loose ends, perhaps a little too quickly in the last chapters, but it's still a great read, highly recommended, very interesting, um, and a four stars out of five for one of my favourite and I think a highly innovative author.